This has been a problem area in our garden because of the tall tree. And this area, first of all, was all salal. We cleared out the salal, and as you can see now, it's totally bare. But now let's put the plants in place. And is what I've done is selected plants that will grow under a tree. This is a high limb tree though, so lots of sunlight comes in. It's not totally shade. Now, keep in mind a couple things. When you select your plants, look for foliage color and foliage texture, and of course, for flower color as well. The most important thing though, is to select the plants you like. Now, in this particular case, after setting the plants out the way I like them, had my wife come down and take a look at them, and she says, well, Ed, she says, I think I'd rather have the white Shasta daisy, Esther Reed, in front and the Cosmo in the back. So that's all right. The problem is now we've got two whites out front. So maybe we can change these this way. And you know, when they're in the pots like that, you can change them around as many times as you want to and come up with the exact you know, scheme that you want. And by the way, you could do that in the nursery when you're buying them. Just set them in the aisles and set them out until you get the exact combination that you want. And you may find some plants that you even like better. But always remember, there are five things to look for. Foliage texture, foliage color, because some plants have beautiful foliage color, flower color, the shapes of the plants, and then fifth, those that have fragrance and we have all of that right in this planting so it really makes a difference now you'll notice at the back i placed the taller growing shrubs for example these are hydrangeas and then i've used the annuals and the perennials and in this particular case i've tried to mix up the different colors because it not only gives us a good coloration but it also gives us the various foliage colors and foliage textures which I mentioned before and you know when we do something like this so you saw the before now you see the after and and then you'll see it also all fully planted but for every dollar you spend on landscaping you get three dollars in return what a great thing because these will grow in value as they grow in size now it's very important Back here behind me is this tree, and that's a camper down elm. That's my wife's favorite tree. So anything that I put in this area needs to be low enough so it will not hide this tree in the background. And you want to keep that in mind when you're landscaping. Keep in mind all the surroundings so it all meshes together beautifully. But look at the annuals, the perennials, and the shrubs. And this will be a permanent planting for many years to come.